Hello, Luigi Tramontana here again with the second part of the Spline Speed Controller tutorial. Now I'm still in my uh, Max here and it will switch to mine in a few seconds because I'm quite sure that you're interested in how it looks like from this camera here when I'm traveling on this carrier. So I will of course show you that. The second thing I wanted to point out here is that, uh, I mean, these uh, look at targets, they are usually a child, child to, they are children to these waypoints. And the problem with that is when you snap them, they snap with that because they're children to them. So when you, whenever you snap them or whenever you do something with the waypoints, you should re-parent this one. I mean, you should link it to something else. You should make it a child of something else. And you can actually animate these ones also. So you can change the direction that the carriage actually is looking by animation or if it follows some object here say a car if you have a car chase then you perhaps want this target to be attached to that car and the carriage to be turned towards that car all the time now that is really advanced stuff but that's what you can do with this tool okay so what do we have here so let's open up the interface and uh, we have a little rig of cameras here i love to do these rigs now the rigs as of uh, as usual they're just parent child structures so that you add effects on effects on effects on effects on effects and eventually you have the effect you want and I wanted all of these effects here at the end I wanted it to zoom in real time here so check out the camera tutorials for that and let's just jump into that camera I hit hit C here uh, C and jump into the zoom and focus camera now let's just see how it looks like here we start off, we drive here, we have the little delay effect from that one and we come to 10 kilometers an hour, continue here and then we should, we are supposed to stop. Now I'm looking from a direct input link here so I'm actually able to look around here while I'm filming and now we're staying put and we're going there later on. Let's zoom in on that place, that looks uh, kind of interesting. Yeah, okay, we're going there later on and I continue push the button here oops that was a little bit fish eye okay we come here and guess what it does when it comes here yeah it was supposed to look at that target yes indeed it was so I can look around oh that's a nice little uh, pipe you have there fellow and continue we keep looking at that target looking 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 and soon we are at this orange thing here and guess what we're going to do then if you remember it should uh, turn around and look straight in the uh, direction of the curve and wait for four seconds there and go yeah and then we are zooming up and we bang we start looking at that red teapot there I'm zooming in here this is an action shot here yeah 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 all right okay zoom out a bit okay that's it we're soon at the top here and we're zooming in here and that's a nice little shot here now we can see the effects of the humanizer cam here also just um, giving these little nice shakes. I'm doing it again. It's coming down here. Zoom out a little bit here. We're coming in here. Zooming in. And when we come to this one, we're supposed to look at the lilac one. Okay, let's do that. Bang. All right. And we're now in, we don't have the, the we have the yaw mode only checked here. So we don't look straight down into the pipe here. So we can still have a look at our red thing here. And then when we come to that one, the next waypoint here, we are supposed to look at the direction of the curve here and guess what we do when we come here we are in gyro mode so we won't turn our heads anywhere anymore now that's boring until we reach the top of the curve here bang there and then it turns but the carriage is sort of in the way a little bit to look at things from here but that's how it works folks I am going to stop this in 3ds max and jump straight into Maya Let's see that's where we are and I have created a little spline here to show you one more thing that is important now this spline speed controller is perhaps a little bit large because this is the standard size of a car here so this carriage here is actually like three and a half meters or something so it could be wise to scale it down sometimes I mean the speeds that you have on this is absolute anyway so it doesn't matter now let's just kill this car here it has nothing to do with the scene itself so what do we do here? Well, we take the spline speed controller here and open up its interface like that. And what we do here, we the first thing we must do for the spline speed control to know that this is the spline we're going to ride on is to make it a child of this spline here. So in Maya, we call it parenting. So I press the P button here, P key there, and it's parented in 3ds Max. It's called linking. And I just place it somewhere close 
to a point on the curve and I jump into here to the carriage properties and I hit the snap to closest point and nothing happens. Why is that? Well, there's something we will change because you need to uncheck the use craft curve generation. We will have a look at that in a few seconds here. Now, let's hit that again. So that will happen to you unless you uncheck that one. Bang, it jumps to the position. Now, the funny thing here is that this curve ends here. It goes around like this and it ends here. And look what will happen here. Uh, well, let's create at least one waypoint like that and that's 10 meters per second is it's now 10 meters now this is one meter so 10 meters per second that's quite fast uh, well let's have a look at that what happens bang okay it continues continues and it just goes round and around and around and that's because we have the loop checked here and if we w don't want that we can just hit it again and it counts. Now 10 meters per second is really, really fast. Bang! That's the end of the curve, right? So we want it to loop, so we keep that. And we want the speeds to be much slower. So what do I do then? If I have one, two, three, four, five waypoints here, well, let's say that one's over. Let's put that one over there and this one over there at least like that and then we snap them to the curve like that and then if I wanted to change all of these because now they're way too fast then I would pick the first one here that one and I change the speed to say one uh, well I'll say three meters per second that's one third of the speed right and then I hit this one make all waypoints equal to one this gives me some kind of an equilibrium point now if I wanted all of them to be stop points now only that one is red then I just hit this one and everyone becomes a stop point, right? I don't want that. So I hit that one again. Okay, so that's that parameter, uh, that button there. It's very handy when you start to do these uh, these things here. I think I've shown you enough on the, on the actual spine. So I'm going to kill this one now, like that. And the last thing I'll do here is quickly to show you kill that one too so it doesn't distract let's just create a spline speed controller here it's right there by the way if you haven't created it once right there in the accessory section and let's now create waypoints one two three four say like that that's the last one now we haven't checked the the uh, draw craft curve just yet but for the spline speed control to actually create a curve by all by itself without the use of say Maya's spline control spline uh, spline cr uh, creation then we use the craft curve generation because that's the default that's quite dangerous of course but you don't have to do anything we create the curve and bang we have this nice little spline and what's nice about this spline is that it's composed of small tetrahedrons which means that you can actually see that this part of the curve is closer than that part of the curve. I like that. So that's how the, the, the curve generation works here. And it's nothing special about it. We can have it closed, create curve, unclo not closed, then it looks like this. We can have the ends straight, meaning that they will have this line at the end. And if we uncheck that one and create a curve again, then we'll, they will have a natural spline ending there without any restrictions. Let's uh, create those again, like so. And uh, if I want to create a new waypoint, say that's the uh, second, so I want to create a new one over there, that means I will create that one right here, uh, the second one, and uh, create a new waypoint. It's created there. And say I create it right there. Then I snap the waypoints to the spline and uh, that's how it creates because it's redraw the craft curve if it's the craft curve so now I create a new one and the thing here is that if I want to change all of these uh, these uh, let's go to the first one and just change the tensions to one first then we have changed the because as you see here all of the waypoints are also CVs so now we have changed the tension so the tension is totally different here we can even go to zero tension that's the last thing I'll do that's the last thing I have time for here and look at this the right uh, like that how is that for a spline straight lines thank you very much bye bye